Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, you beautiful souls. How the devil are you? You join me on the A34, heading down to just south of Newbury to a place called Hat Common or something. <laughs> and it's Friday! Thank the good Lord. I am knackered. I would say I'm looking forward to a weekend off, but I hope my dad's not out of the garage. Oh well, it's got to be done. You got, you got, to, you know, you got to help out. You got to do the good do. But where are we going after this? After we've loaded, what are we loading? I'll show you what we're loading. We get there because we've got to go to Abingdon then Swindon. I have no idea where we're going to in Abingdon and Swindon yet. It's just that's what I've been told. But I will eventually end up. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a challenging day. It's some work that I've never done before we're not in the situation we're doing it in today um, but yeah so yeah it's going to be an interesting day today 19th of November a day to remember wow I was a poet and didn't even know it nice so yeah but I can't believe the fact that it's 10 past 7 in the morning and it's still dawn come on where are you, sunshine? Get rid of this cloud. Let's, let's, let's be having on with you. Let's be cracking on. Let's be cracking on. Yeah, so we're heading to a farm. Do I have a bob of washing the truck? No point. <laughs> I might give her a little squid over later. Because I think I'm going to be loading up a new castle after this. I think. I don't know. That remains to be seen. So, yeah. Anyway, how are we all? How are you guys? What's going on? How's life? You're looking forward to Christmas? No? All the match, same as me. <laughs> yeah. I've still got 10 and a half days holiday left to take. I have literally taken no holiday this year. I've had a couple of days off. I've had, yeah, I had one long weekend and a couple of days off just because of, you know, life stuff that you need to take holiday for. That's pretty much it. Which is, a. Uh, Actually, quite soul destroying. Yeah, Sorry, I was just leaving cheaply services then, just before I hit record, and um, and trying to get out of there when all the pumps when they're queuing for the pumps. Jesus Christ! I was that far away from the R7 transporter, like car transporter. I'm hitting it, bloody tight. But we got out of there. Nice co-part driver reversed back and let me out. Bless him. So yeah. Right, I'm going to stop waffling and we are going to head to this farm. Hopefully, it's going to a bit lighter. And now I'll show you what we're loaded with. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, I think we're nearly here. It's look, starting to look, you know, more like we are heading to Anne Farm. Typically. It's getting nice and tight with lots of low branches, lots of ditches. It's nice, it's nice. Having vehicles in the middle of the road. Yeah, me. Oh dear, I love these sort of places. That's what I get up for in the morning. And yeah, that's why I did the three kids actually. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so now we've got to look out for a sign. I believe it's going to be on the right. One of our drivers was here last year and um, and yeah, he's giving me rough direction. He was like, I can't remember if it's the first or second turn driver. And I was like, all right, okay. We'll work her out, we'll work her out. We always do. Thank you very much, Mr. Pickup Man. Yeah. Oh, what's you? You look like something over there. Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be busy. Right, signs there, I think. Deliveries only. That says deliveries only. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, lovely. Well, you keep, 
flashing. I think that was the place I actually needed. Because <laughs> he keeps flashing me. Alright, we'll turn around here. Obviously, half of bloody Berkshire suddenly arrives on the road. like the busiest rat run in Newbury. Hate you. Well, maybe hate's a strong word, but I hate you. already <laughs> what we're collecting yes we are collecting christmas trees i was hoping to keep it a surprise but there we go oh dear right where do you want me to moor up people bennett's all around here of course very nice someone and have a little chatteroo. Oh the daggy. Right, we are loaded with nice big bulges in our curtain. And when I say bulges I mean bloody bulges. Well everything's strapped down and everything's fine. It's not going past the mirrors and that's all I care about. Yeah Christ how fast were you going driver? Jesus but yeah some way to these things Definitely going to be one of those loads that we go steady with, definitely. One and a half miles. Easy does it, right easy does it. You'll be alright. Oh yeah, a lot of the weight seems to be on that side as well actually. Which is good because the Christmas trees seem to be leaning more that way. <laughs> we have three straps over each one. They're quite high stillages but they're bloody loose. Like it's just, it, timber holding them together is like that. So two straps going one way to actually secure it down and then one strap going the tub away to anchor it back going the other way. Um, I've only got four stillages on and one drop. Uh, one of the drops was already done yesterday. Nice! So yeah, we've only got the Abingdon to do now which I think is only about 40 minutes away. But yeah, but it's going to a farm. But yeah, so yeah, we're gonna have a bit of fun engaged with that I think. There. So yeah, so yeah, we got to uh, keep an eye out for a farm. The the, the guy there, the, it's one of those places that they they've been to every single delivery that you're about to go to. They've been there and they know the score and they've memorised it. So, um, but yeah, it was nice to catch up with some of the Bennett's lads because for all you track sports out there, I worked for Bennett's for two weeks. Um, just on a casual basis, it wasn't a fact when I started there and, like, oh, okay, and left. No, it was just a bit of a casual basis, and it's how I ended up with a job here. So, um, so, yeah, my dad used to work for them. Oh, Christ, he worked there for them for about two years as a self employed driver. And he was there for a while. Bless his cottons. So, yeah. But, yeah, that was his, I think his 
yeah, that was his first sort of job after being an owner driver. So fair play to him. So yeah, happy days, happy days. Right, we are Abingdon bound. Right, we're going to be doing some miles today, boys. <laughs> turn on to 12 acre drive um, which is led me to think of something you know them woods that we the poo Christopher, Christopher Robin lived in you know them ones what were the name of them was it like 11 acre wood 9 acre wood leave in the comments which which one was it I can't bloody remember I'll go for a minute she's so got a Winnie the Pooh teddy bear that she's that sort of my girlfriend my fiance um, she's had the Winnie the Pooh teddy bear that she's had since no guild since the time began and it's missing its nose and its throat has been slashed and when you wake up in the middle of the night and it's staring at you you feel guild it's like a zombie bear but yeah anyway fun little fact another Sam history fact this is the route that ran about currently on this is one of the part of the route that I did my class 2 test on and here I am tearing her up get on Get on. But yeah. So yeah, we're nearly there. So apparently we're looking towards the Pitchcroft farm. Apparently. The Pitchcroft Road coming up on our right. But that's not gonna be a farm, is it? That's looking very farmerish over there. I'm seeing I'm, I'm seeing fields. I'm seeing fields. None of them are cultivated on now, but I'm seeing fields. Hmm. Okay. Go on, be it. It's been coming up over here on our left. Come on, be a big, big sign saying Peak Cross Farm. Peak Cross Centre. Oh, oh, you beauty. You absolute 24 carat beauty. Nice. Oh my god. Look at the pheasants. <laughs> I know they're turkeys. Gobble gobble. <laughs> That's brilliant. Nice. Alright, so we've got a big old car park coming up here. Let's see what we got on. You must comply with the two metre distancing rule on these premises. Okay, I won't give anybody a cuddle. Need to find someone to talk to. We'll do. We'll moor up on the right hand side over here. And uh, see if we can find someone to talk to. Lovely. Right. In a minute. Even even have to use the Moffit. Right, how do we get out of here then? I'm sure I know how the way I came in. Because at least an old fit. Uh, yeah, probably a better idea, isn't it? Um, yeah, didn't even have to use the Moffit. Got out of the telehandler. Lovely. Um, there was nearly another load going up to Slayer. A Slayer with A's, not O U G H, it's Slayer. Alright. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you saw the um, little yellow MAN on the way in. Fella lives in that. Fair play. I thought I'd buy, you know what? Bless her, I love my fiance to bits, love Lily to bits, but if we were to, heaven forbid, ever break up, I would either live on a narrow boat or in a van. 
because I mean I still truck drive throughout the week obviously but you know just being able to get, get home on a Friday and go you know I actually fancy going out to Scotland tonight you know and just going you know I've, I've always always fancied that always fancied that but yeah but I don't know if you saw well you probably have seen it in the video see a little cable that I was having to flick about well it turns out when I was getting loaded it got caught by one of the branches on the tree and it's pulled it down and it, all it's stuck up with is silly little adhesive clips like who on earth would have installed it like that i don't know it's utterly stupid utterly stupid but um oh hang on i got that picture shot um utterly stupid but um but oh well not my truck but I don't know what we're doing now. I've been told to head towards Cambly, but it might be another job in the middle. It's a bit like last video where I didn't really know where I was going. And there was a tractor unit right up my ass. Some lorry drivers are as bad as car drivers. I'm telling you. Honestly, absolute tit. Not a minute to spare. And you, I can see him in the rear view camera, which is thank God it's still working. Um, but yeah, absolute tit. Why? Oh, we're gonna take the first exit. Ooh, that's a A bit too far south for a bloody Friday, ain't it? Bad luck. Lovely. But yeah, happy days. Ah, happy days. So yeah, I'll let you know when I know that you know. No, I know that you will know, that we will know what we will all know that my boss knows, but I don't know. Tabby. We have heard from the powers that be. Oh, this new park of Reading Services. We have heard from the powers that be, the people in the know, the gods. Poseidon himself has spoken to me and told me, go to gambling and load. Um, and then I've got uh, another collection to do. So I'm loaded for Newcastle. Uh, well, Lippum St. Anne's, which I think is near Newcastle. Um, and then I've got another crate for Bolton um, Monday. So, yeah, which is already in the yard. I've just got to put it on. So, yeah, I might record that as well. Depends what mood I'm in, because it is going to be Monday morning. At least no, but I'm getting some lots of trucks now. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to by Colina. Ooh. So yeah, but obviously we've done the obligatory. We've been to Greg's. Nice. For this Friday, it looks like we've got a nice quiet day today. No rushing about. So yeah, I'm happy. But this means that there's nothing left to record, unfortunately. Sorry to say to you lovely people. Um, so it's been a bit of a short one today. I anticipated today, I, I was anticipating at least two runs out of the um, farm for the trees, but um, the other run already got covered by one of our own drivers, so um, so yeah, a bit of a shame now. Oh well, one of the Bennett's boys did it. Oh well, here's the way it goes, so yeah, but it means I could, uh, might be able to wash the truck later, guys. Excuse me, because it is hanging. Sorry, pardon me. Excuse me. Sorry, I've just had a um, a uh, sausage and omelette roll. So yeah, or a barm or a bat, whatever you want to call it. Get it. So yeah, and it was lovely. So yeah, a bit of side by actually before we want to go, Mister Sam. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to have to cut things off here, guys. So I do apologise, but yeah, hope you do have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Preferably the and. And I shall see you in the next one. Stay safe. And most of all, stay well.